Uh, let's see. Today is August the 3rd. It's Thursday. We've been sitting here since, I don't know, Saturday? Sunday? Sunday? We came in Saturday, I think, knowing that there's a Meltemi coming. It came on Sunday, and it's been blowing ever since. A um, little look around. You can see way out by the entrance to the breakwater. and that is not, I am not drunk. The boat is rocking pretty good, as all the other boats here are. And I'll zoom back out, and you can see the mats in here rolling. Everybody's rolling in here, including us. Uh, as for the wind, wow, it got all the way down to 14. Now it says four, five, that's really nice. But we'll just sit here for a minute. Now we got 26, 28, 19. Uh, get this down, we may be able to see it a little better. 25. So the wind is blowing somewhere 20, 25. We just had a gust of 38. Um, it, we don't know how long it's going to blow like that. It's not supposed to be blowing this big today. But fortunately, it is behind us. And when we're getting out of here, well, eh, that's anybody's guess right now. It looks like we've, we're going to get down to 15 to 20 on Monday for about four days, uh, which will hopefully give us enough time to get down to Crete and hide out before the next one comes in. That was a little 25 minute yard gust, and that was pretty mild. It didn't do much to us. I'm just trying to wait here and see if we're going to get one of those 40 knot gusts that just came through uh, a little while ago. So we're just sitting here. We'll go out, take a look around. This is a little town on the end of the island of Evie, Augustus, or something like that, Augustus. It's a nice big area out here. So we'll, we'll combine this with one we hopefully will shoot tonight that will show this entirely different. Lots of parking here. People come down and park. Some uh, what they call here, uh, well, we call them camper vans. I forget what they call them here. Uh, restaurants back there. There's our favorite is back there behind that white van. Uh, lots of boats tied up here. I think we got about 15 sailboats, uh, 14 sailboats, and one. Mega semi big yacht down there. Not a mega yacht, but it's a big one. We're all sitting in here together. Oh, there's a slow guy tied up next to us. And we just had a 30 knot gust come through. Um, as for the biggest winds today, um, 40. So sometime since we turned the system on and I started taping this, um, we've had 40 knots. We had a 40 knot gust come through. Fairly unpleasant. Not much we can do about it. Sit, wait, have patience. Uh, the reason it's only 7 to 10 or whatever is that the winds that you see are directly behind us. And we have all of these buildings behind us which are giving us some protection. On the other side, if you take a look at those flags down there, they're blowing pretty good. And the guys down there are rolling pretty good. We got really lucky. There's a gap down there uh, between the buildings, and we're on this side of that gap. So, Whatever it goes through, uh, we get a little bit of windbreak. It does swirl in here a bit, but that's about it. It does protect us a bit. But boy, is it nasty out here. So we'll end it here. You all have a good day. We're just sitting, waiting. We both just finished reading Zorba the Greek. So tonight, I think it's movie night, and we're going to try to see if we can find and watch the movie Zorba the Greek because we're both anxious. 
to see exactly how they turned out in the movie. If you haven't read it, read it. It's a great read, great philosophy on life and everything else from both Zorba and the boss. Uh, and you have to, if you haven't read the book, you figure out who they two are. Have a good day. Chuck, Patty, Whitey now. There comes a 30. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, waiting out this massive, but weak, long Maltini. And I think it's Augustus Greece. Bye. Okay, you might ask, why are we having all of these winds? Well, this is from um, Passage Weather. And uh, we are right about here. We need to go down here. And see all these isobars, how close they are? That causes compression or whatever in the atmosphere, which gives us all of these winds. This was UTC time at 0600, which is, uh, we're UTC plus three, so it's nine o'clock our time. And as we go through the next few days, you can see they don't really change. The size of the pressure is not really as much of a concern with us right now as the tightness of those isobars. They're just packed in here. And that is giving us all of this wind that we're getting right now. So when do we get out of here? Um, right now it looks like, as you see here Sunday, they begin to get a little wider. And then on Monday at uh, about 1800, here's uh, six o'clock. You see we got some nice wide isobars in here. And then Monday looks good, Tuesday looks good. So, you know, it looks like maybe Monday we'll be able to get out of here and begin our journey south. Um, we'll see. That's about all we can say. Wednesday doesn't look half bad, but after that, it looks like you can see them beginning to build a little tighter um, toward the end of next week again. And here's a wide one. So that's back to where we were this morning. So just a little thought on the isobars and where we are. And it's still blowing. We probably had some 40 knot, well, they were 40 knot gusts coming through a little while ago. A little isobar time. We'll combine this with something else and show it to you later. This is uh, the same place we looked at this morning. And uh, you see the horse car out here, running around. And behind them, got the little pedal cycle. People are out walking around. Notice all of the cars are gone. Families are out, kids are out. The restaurants have people in them. The little white thing here is our electric. Yeah, the, you see to the west. We got some light skies. The weather died. The weather, the weather really changed a lot. Calmed down about uh, 1800, and uh, just became quite nice. So well, hopefully, it's going to be down all night tonight before it closed again, 20 to 30 tomorrow. And maybe tonight we're going to get a little bit of. Uh, sleep tonight, which we haven't had a really good night's sleep in several days. Uh, we're having a race out here between two little kids. Uh, little kids running, little kids playing, parents coming down. This isn't a really busy one. Uh, maybe we may shoot this again if we're here tomorrow when the party will be a lot busier. But this all changes. All the cars have to be off this, out of this parking area. No cars on the street out there. It's all for families. It's all for kids. It's all for people coming down and just enjoying the waterfront. Chuck and Patty. In, I don't know, Caristus or whatever we are. Oh, and soulmates. Yeah, I'm standing on her. And you can see we got lots of lines. Okay, that's it for this round. Good night.